We looked forward to the new Mercedes SL class arrival, and our performance vehicle of the year program represented another bite at the apple, in particular the 2022 Mercedes AMG SL63 4Matic Plus. We already tested this version, there's a lesser SL55, too, as part of our 2023 Car of the Year program, and it returned for further review as a pretty contender. Ultimately, after running it around streets of Willow, Katie didn't include any track driving, we found it to be the same mixed bag as before. The new SL63's all-wheel drive, an SL first, and thundering twin-turbo V8 make for smashing off-the-line performance, as expected, and that's a strong selling point to a lot of people. When it comes to cornering quickly, however, we discovered a bit of a disjointed personality. As technical director Frank Marcus noted, you need to deactivate stability control, something not everyone is comfortable with in the real world, to access the master dynamics mode before the car comes alive. Suddenly it was willing to play, he said at the rear end that was now happy to rotate and slide. But the performance in this vehicle is not as accessible as it is in many of the other most fun cars out here. You have to drive it much more maniacally and switch off the safety nets to really feel like you're driving the car. Once you do so, the SL63 puts a smile on your face, with its 8-cylinder roaring and a reasonably responsive chassis for a car of this bulk and mass. Our judge's biggest dynamic gripe concerns slow corners, where the SL63 unsurprisingly struggles thanks to its overall weight and how those pounds are distributed. One semi-workaround we discovered is to use the ABS as an indicator. If you brake hard into a slow corner and sense the anti-lock system activate, you know you've blown it and are about to get a load of understeer, make a mental note to reduce your speed further for that turn the next time around. Drive through more flowing corners, though, and the AMG presents a different story. Everything, including the front-end grip, is really good up until then, features editor Scott Evans said. The brakes also deserve praise for so effectively slowing the 2 plus ton SL. That's a shame, as the engine and transmission are otherwise highlights of the SL63 package. Considering how new the 7th Gen SL is, we're optimistic Mercedes and AMG have plenty of unexplored bandwidth to improve it as a performance car that offers a broader envelope of dynamic satisfaction. I have to imagine it would be more fun as a rear driver, and removing the AWD hardware would pay off in terms of dropping the weight and increasing the fun, senior features editor Johnny Lieberman said. The main takeaway is, I expected to enjoy the new SL much more than I did.